What's rolling, brawlers? Viva Lahan here with all the cheese and your things, TCG. Back again with another Bakugan Pro Review here. Review the last and final Bakugan Brawler Pack, or Jugan Brawler Pack, as they're quite known. This is going to be the darkest Stardust and the Aurelia Slugger one. And we'll just go ahead and check on the back real quick. And we know that we got an Aqua Spartilion, a Pyrus Fen uh, Pensatar, and, and then a Ventus for Rascal. So, um, I'm not too sure about this. I haven't really noted it or seen it. I forgot how, exactly what it has in it. But with all that being said, we're just going to jump right into this awesome Brawler Pack. All right, Brawlers. And as always, we have the cores first. Now, first, we got a negative 100B plus 4 Helix. We got a Green Fist negative 3 damage. Very, very nice. Negative 3 damage. It's all right, I guess. We got a Red Fist plus 250 plus 3 damage. Red Fist is always nice. Go back there. We got another Red Fist with the negative, or the plus 6. Sorry about that. I think that's the best Red Fist in terms of damage. Another negative 3 Green Fist. A lot of trap cores in this, as you can see. And then <laughs> another negative 5. I think I meant to say another red fist, but I said another negative five. It's okay. So we'll go ahead and move on to our action cards. We got the Eldrick Darkest Doom, two cost for a negative 700B. The Pyro, Pyro Boiler, the two cost for plus six damage. Fire Floor, one cost for the plus two damage and a scan effect or scry. We got Chomping Tornado, two cost for the plus 500B. And then the Ventus Shadow Cat, a zero cost for plus two damage and scan. I guess we'll move on to our Bakugan. We got the Pensatar for the double Flame Fist, 400B, 6 damage, a built in reroll, and on a Flame Fist, a 300B and plus 3 damage. Very, very decent. We got the Aqua Spartilion with the double Green Fist, 600B, 4 damage, and on a Green Fist, it's going to be 300B. Up next, we got the Aventus for Russell for the Helix and Red Fist for the 800B and 12, uh, 2 damage. Sorry, not 12 damage. Wow. 2 damage. So, I guess we'll go ahead and move on to our Geogon. All right, brawlers. Up next, we got our Geogon. We got the Darkest Stardust for three costs, 2,000 B and two damage. And then last but not least, we got the Aurelia Slugger for the five costs, 1,300 B and 13 damage. Very, very nice. So I guess we'll go ahead and move on to our Geogon, or Bakugan, my bad. We'll show off the first one, the, the um, Pyrus uh, Pinsar. Here it is. 3, 2, 1, Bakugan Brawl. And boom, there he goes, on the Flame Fist. So, very looks nice. Aqua Spartilia, here we go. Looks very, very... Oh, I like the dark, the little black in it. Finally, Aquas get some black instead of just, like, orange. I didn't really like orange too much in the, um... Uh, into the Aquas Bakugan in Wave 2, but it's okay. Or Armored Alliance, whatever. 3, 2, 1. Bakugan Brawl. Boom. I'm pretty sure this one can double core. Yeah, yeah. Spartilion has pretty strong mana, so he can double core pretty easily. That's if you're trying to go for that, of course. There's... Up next, we got the, uh, Ventus for Rascal. And I'm gonna leave this Helix here. I know I took it, but we're gonna... Take it again because uh, these rascals are mostly decent. We'll see. Three, two, one. Bakugan Brawl. There he goes. Here is Ventus for Rascal. I actually like this one quite a bit. I don't know what's up with me and Ventus Bakugan. I guess I like them. Here is Stardux. Darkest Stardux. I like the color of Darkest Stardux. Stardux is one of my favorite Geogons, just designs in general. So, you know, guys, that Stardux can double core, so. If he decides to, it's possible. I forget if he can or not. I don't remember. Pretty sure I'd said it in one of my reviews. I know the Slugger can double core because I've done it quite a bit. So, and I always tell people to be very, very careful with their, slug their Slugger because uh, I think they, they're very, very prone to uh, to breaking. So, and this one doesn't really kind of close all the way. So, whoopee. So, three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. But yeah, he can double core. You just got to be very, very good at the double core. So, yeah. I guess we'll go ahead and move on to some thoughts and opinions of these Geogon slash Bakugan. All right, Brawlers. And I know, I know, it's quite often that we see these card fillers in here. And I'm just kind of sick and tired of it. If you're going to, you know, promote other cards, promote the other cards, but not these filler cards that are easy to translate. I get it. Translation is an issue. But... Why even promote that you have other cards? I know this probably isn't the wave that it's in. I know Wave 3 promotes certain cards, but hey, I'm just tired of that being a thing, and then we get these trash cards that we continuously get. If you're going to include decent, you know, 
filler cards include the good ones like the the elder darkest doom and the ventus shadow cat i mean yes they're decent they're not the best but they are good and that's what i'd rather have some cards like these than, than those because i don't know what it is but they just love throwing the far floor chopping tornado on the power burner and everything on top of the cores i don't even start with this core pack the cores in this uh, brawler pack are tremendously bad do not get it for the cores this is not one of the good ones for the cores the other two are very 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 good with the cores and i just don't know what the problem is with it what that what you know what the whole issue is so i guess we'll go ahead and move on to the Bakugan. we'll start off with the spartilion first um spartilion 600 b uh and double green fist and on a green fist 300 b so let's say you have the 150 you are definitely going to be about like you know I think it's a thousand and fifty. It depends the double core, so you could get a thirteen hundred, or depending on what other cores you have, it is a decent aquas block. Going is it bad? Um, I don't know. Some of them are good, some of them aren't. Uh, we'll go move on to the Pinsatarm. Uh, like I said, most of these block going aren't bad, but it's just it's all preference, I guess. Some of them are bad. Like uh, let me say the the four hundred B and the double red fist. Yes, it's decent. That's double red. And it has a built-in reroll, and it does have a boost, which is a 303. But say you only get that boost, you're gonna be at like what, like a nine, not a thousand? You're barely breaking a thousand right now. And on top of that, it could be used one of the couples that has the red, uh, the red fist boost. But uh, I just don't see this be like Bakugan being, you know, any good at all. So we'll move on from Pinstar. We'll talk about the Rascal because uh, all these Bakugan are decent, but they all just have little things that are wrong with them. I just want to talk about it. The 800B and the two damage is. Pretty good. Don't give me hope. I mean, you know, uh, 1300B for a, a zero damage, uh, yeah, it's kind of bad. And I don't know why this is one of the ones that just did not get the boost, but hey, it's not on uh, R&D and, you know, it's just kind of bad. So I just wanted to talk about it and say that it's the only for Rascal that's pretty bad. And, and, and speaking of bad, let's just talk about this, uh, the Aurelius Slugler. Uh, 1300B and 13 damage, don't get me wrong, the 13 damage is great, but for the 5 cost... For a five cost, no, not for a five cost. It's horrible compared to my other Geogon dude. Uh, Titan King is already at nineteen hundred B on a four cost, and he's even already beaten it. And even Stardex at the four at the two cost, the eight hundred B and four damage, it is still so much better. Because if you do land on the Green Fist, you are gonna be at thirteen fifty, and it's so much better than this blob here. I mean, it sucks that this guy just got shafted, and you know what? We're just gonna leave it at that. I mean, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Let's just move on to the darkest Stardox. And let me just first off start off with, I mean, yeah, 2000B is good. Don't get me wrong. It's it's good. But other three costs, Geogon, just run out of the water. Unisect is at, you know, three costs with a freaking Helix boost. And then if the Helix there's like 800 on that, so it's like already 1900 with Shadow Strike. It's just so much better. If I brag into the 1300 or four on a, on a uh, green, so I'll put it at like, what, 1950, 1850? But it has so much more damage. And on top of that, there's just so many other low-cost Geogon that just surpass it. Sertrin, a freaking Slugler, a Hyenex, even Hayes Town, the one that just came out of the recent one. This Brawler pack is probably the weakest when it comes to these Geogon, and I would not suggest buying this one at all. This is the worst one. This is the filler. I don't know why they did this. They could have easily made some money by putting this in a different one and putting another Geogon in another one, but I don't know, get it. I guess it's just the way the R&D works. So, um, let me know your thoughts and opinions of these Geogon. Do you like them? Do you like the Bakugan? Are they good? Are they decent? Are you willing to put them in your collection? I mean, is Slugger good? Is Starlight good? Is Spartillion good? Which one of, the, of these, you know, are good? I just, I can't find any goodness in this. I'm sorry. I just, this one seems kind of lackluster. I, I apologize, but hey, those are just my opinions. Let me know your opinions and what you would do with these Bakugan slash Geogon. And comment, like, subscribe, follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter. Of course, don't forget about the giveaway. And check out my latest deck profile for all my competitive news. And, you know, subscribe for some competitive news. So, with that being said, guys, keep rolling and have a wonderful day.